Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel. I am Rof Yaseen and you guys are learning ASP.NET Core MVC and we are developing a complete e-commerce web application using ASP.NET Core MVC. In the previous video, we, we referenced uh, our projects with each other and we understand what is this three layer architecture and what is the like meaning of core business and project and we created some test classes to test our references and it works fine so in this video we are going to install entity framework in our application so that we can set up our uh, we can create our models and we can set up uh, our connection string and database we will we'll deal with connection string and models later on but this video is very important uh, in order to uh, install correct entity framework variant uh, so that we can uh, you can follow uh, exactly what I'm doing you can follow me without any problems so because we have this business layer and this business layer is dealing with the database performing uh, things like performing uh, CRUD operations and it will have migrations and within this folder it will have migrations and it, it will have our DB context clause so we will install entity framework within this project so what I'm going to do I'm going to add uh, install entity framework so in order to install any package from NuGet packages we will have to right click on the project name and we'll have to click manage NuGet packages and over here we'll have to search for Microsoft dot entity framework dot s entity framework core dot sql server this because we will be using microsoft sql server so we'll have to select this and we'll have to install this but before installing you can see what is the latest stable variant of entity framework so it is telling 5.0.8 and we'll have to make sure that when when we are installing these frameworks we should follow uh, like we should be able to understand what is the current runtime of uh, our application or current uh, variant of our application so that we install the same uh, variant of entity framework and other libraries so ho how we can know what is the uh, variant of our application so you can click here in the package manager console here if you don't see package manager console here you can come here in the tools NuGet package manager and you can click here package manager console and over here you can write a command dot net dash dash info and click enter and you will see it will give me a bunch of details like dot net runtime installed I have core 2.1 2.8, 2 2.2.8, 3.0315, 3 then I have 5.0, 5.6, 5.0.7, and I have a bunch of different SDKs installed uh, side by side with, within my project. But the important information you can see SDK installed 3.1, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0, 5.0. These are SDKs. But if you come here, host useful for support. This is the variant of our application 5.0.7, 5.0.7. We are using this variant uh, in our application. So when we created our application, it is created using this variant. So whenever we want to add uh, some packages, we'll have to take care that we will be using a same variant or not. So we're using 5.0.7. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here and I'm going to click this 5.0.7 and remember we have selected this Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server and we have this variant and then I'm going to click install by the way we are installing this entity framework uh, within this business project and I'm going to click I accept and the another important function uh, another important framework I'll have to install is this Microsoft dot entity framework core dot tools. This is very important to
to install this in order to run package manager console command so again i am going to select 5.0.7 and click install and another important package i'll have to install this microsoft entity framework core.design and again 5.0.7 click install i accept perfect so these are three packages uh, we'll have to install in order to use entity framework so after that what i'm going to do i'm going to right click on this data folder i'm going to click here and add and over here it will be the name of our like the name with the name of our db context class db context class so we have pound saving store context so we can write instead of like writing pound saving store context we can simply write app db context okay so we can write this name otherwise i think the more simple will be store context we can write this store context or we can write app store context okay so app store context is perfect so this is basically the name of our connection string or db context clause and i'm going to add this context clause and i'm going to set this public and i'm going to inherit this class from db context and if i click here control dot and look it is giving me now because we've we have successfully installed entity framework and now it is giving me the hint to uh, like uh, you add this using namespace in my uh, class so when i click here and it is added here perfectly so this is how you can add uh, install entity framework in your application in the next video we'll set up uh, we'll set up connection string uh, in app settings to json and we'll deal with the connection string in the next video so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye